right ahead. Okay. Have a good visit. Thank you. What's she saying? She's saying hi, Tom. sit on your lap. Yeah? Yeah, let's sit this way. She'll sit right here in between us. Does that look good? Oh, don't cry. Hold up the bed. You hold on. Oh. Not too tight. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you have a boo boo? Okay, leave it alone. We'll fix it later, okay? Okay. You pick on that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is she worth the wait? Huh? Do you like her? Yeah. Can we take her home on Tuesday? Can we take her home with us? Yeah. Would that be fun? Yeah. Tease. <laughs> Why don't you tell her a story? Can you tell her a story? Or sing her a song? Tell her about Dumbo at the circus. <gasps> tell her you have some books she can, she can read. water over here to soak your washcloth. So you bring that up and you wash the baby off. Why? Because she's dirty.
tootsies. Okay, are we all done? No. No? What else do we have to clean on her? So that means Ron? Yes. Okay. Do you want to stop and just hit the button again? <laughs> to bring her up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you're undertaking? Are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? Sarah Jane, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of Mr. Christ. I now trace the cross on your forehead and invite your parents and godparents to do the same. Sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People were bringing their little king God. You sent your only son into the world to cast out the power of Satan, spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with her. We ask this. of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples to go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to this water the grace of your Son. You created man in your own likeness. Cleanse him from sin a new birth to innocence by water and spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon this water. May all who were buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with the newness of life. And we ask this in Christ our Lord. My dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, she is to receive the gift of new life from God. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always strong within her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. Do you reject sin? It always gets embarrassing at this point because they get comfortable with the God mother, then come back to the room and start to cry. And the mother get up. That didn't. Now. I'm going to just draw your sleeve. Okay. So you have your hand here, then I won't let you in. Okay. Sarah Jane, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin and given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Sarah Jane, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this white garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, may you bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. <laughs> Receive the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. 
She is to walk always as a child of the light. May she keep the flame of faith alive in her heart. And when the Lord comes, may she go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb to speak, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with her in thanking him forever in heaven, in Christ Jesus our Lord. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of this child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to that faith by what they say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. Unless the rest of you feel left out, that lesson includes everybody. <laughs> by God's gift, through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here in Christ Jesus our Lord. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay.